there whenever you use a term of a city or of a person or of a historical object you assume that that term is historical when you say mm. mecca what's the first thing that comes to mind well if you're a muslim the first thing that comes to mind is that this city has always existed this is the first place of mankind this is where adam and eve were sent mm. to when they were thrown yeah. out of the Garden of Eden in chapter 7, verse 24 of the Quran, chapter 7, verse 24 of the Quran, chapter 7, verse 24 of the Quran. They are thrown down to earth. You have to go to the traditions that are the ninth and 10th century traditions. Remember, not the 7th yeah. century. You have to go to mm -hmm. Al-Buhari. You have to go to Ibn Hisham to find out where they were sent to. Now, Ibn Hisham won't tell you, but certainly Al-Tabari and Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, they will tell you where they were sent to. They were sent to Mecca. Well, if they are the first humans, if they are the first man and the first woman on earth, that would suggest to me that it's the oldest city in history. Am I correct? Yeah. 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 It was. And so for, when a Muslim hears you say not existent Mecca, they'll, they'll, they'll say, you fool, you <laughs> idiots. It's the oldest city <laughs> in the world. How can you even question this? More than that, mm. if you go to chapter 21 of the Quran, in chapter 21, uh, the, it's, it, there is a reference there to Abraham. Now, here's the interesting thing. Neither in chapter 7 that I er talked about earlier or chapter 21 that I'm talking about now, does it give the word Mecca in the Quran? Go look at it. See if I'm correct. Mm. So Muslims mm. have assumed this must be Mecca. But how did they come to that assumption? Well, because the traditions say so. The traditions are very clear that the Masjid al-Haram is always, 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 always Mecca. As if there's never been another Kaaba. There have been hundreds of Kaabas. Mm -hmm. Before Islam, Kaabas were quite normal. Any town, any hamlet, any city would have a Kaaba. Yeah. Muslims don't know this because Muslims don't ever think about history. They don't want it. There is no history prior to Muhammad. Abraham, mm. Moses, oh, they know the names, but ask them to tell you where these people lived and ask them to tell you what they did. And they'll just say, well, you have to go to the Bible to find that out. Yes, that's true. You've got to come to us. <laughs> to find that out. Because there's nothing in the Quran that tells you much about any of these great characters prior mm. to Islam. And there's almost this viewpoint, there's almost this attitude in Islam that anything prior to Islam is jahiliya. In fact, they give the word, the period of ignorance, the civilization yeah. of ignorance. Until Muhammad came, everything was ignorant. Now they'll give a, they'll mm. give great accolades to Abraham and Moses and Issa and all these great biblical characters, but you notice mm. biblical characters. They're all yeah. biblical characters. Which means they've got to come to the Bible to find out who these characters are. They've got to come to us. And we tell them that Abraham did not live in Mecca. Abraham lived in Mesopotamia. And he moved from Mesopotamia, from the Euphrates Valley, to Hara, to what is today Israel, to the eastern coast of the Mediterranean. He never was that far down south. Nowhere in the Bible has him going anywhere near Mecca or Medina where the Muslims say he lived.
And so you can see there's a, there is a clash right there, a historical clash between the Bible and the Quran, between history and Islam, between Islam and the rest of the world. And that's why, so we bring this question up, or even bring this notion up, that there is a uh, that there is a non-existent Mecca. That's hugely controversial for Muslims, and it gets them a little sweaty under the under the under uh, under the armpits. And then they say, yeah, 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 oh, please, we don't want to talk about this because Muslims have never talked about this. They've never looked at the historical problems of the Quran. They've never looked at the historical difficulties of their traditions, especially their traditions, because the Quran mm -hmm. says little, says, oh, listen, if this is such an old city, if this is the greatest place on earth, that uh, the earth oh, and one of the, the center of history, according to Islam, because it's where the Kaaba has always existed. It's where Abraham and Ishmael rebuilt the Kaaba. That's 1900 BC.